Hello guys, welcome to Dennis Tech Tips. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Clipchamp Video Editor. Clipchamp Video Editor comes with Windows 11. It was introduced when Windows 11 was launched and it has a lot of functions. With Clipchamp Video Editor, you can put together a very nice video. It has great editing features. For example, with Clipchamp, you can work with multiple tracks on your timeline. You can add transitions between your media or between images. It even have extra features like converting text to speech and many more. So compared to the video editor in the Photos app, Clipchamp is a big step up. So in case you don't know, there's a video editor within the Photos app. I have a tutorial on how to use that video editor in this channel. So you can click on the link in the description to see that video. So even though Clipchamp comes pre-installed with Windows 11, you can also download it on Windows 10 from Microsoft Store. So all you need to do is to head over to Microsoft Store. And then on the search, you are going to search for Clipchamp. So when the search is done, you are going to see Clipchamp Video Editor as the best match. You can go ahead and click on the Install button or the Get button to kick off your download. So when the download is done, it will automatically install and then you can go ahead and open it. After downloading and installing Clipchamp in your PC, when you launch it, you are going to see something like this. So right here, I am on Clipchamp home screen. At the top right here, I can create a new video or a new project by clicking on this create a new video button. Or I can choose to record something. With Clipchamp, you can record your screen, you can record your webcam and also your microphone. All at the same time if you choose to. Or you can start a new project by using one of these templates right here. And down here, I get to see all the recent projects I have worked on in Clipchamp. Now, when I scroll up a bit, up here, within this upgrade button, you should know that Clipchamp is not completely free. So, it has a free version and it also has a premium version. So, with the free version, you get access to few features of Clipchamp. But with the essential version or the premium version, you get access to all the cool features of Clipchamp Video Editor. So right here to get the premium version, you can pay 5,399 Naira monthly to be able to use the premium version of Clipchamp. But for the first time, they are going to give you, or for the first month, they are going to give you a discount. So you pay 3,799 Naira to get the premium version. So you can decide to pay monthly or yearly. So that's that. So I'm going to close this. So right now we are going to dive into the lesson proper. So let's see how we can use Clipchamp to edit videos. So to get started, I'm going to create a new video project by hitting on this create a new video button. So immediately I do that, it's going to land me right here within the Clipchamp video editor. So the first thing we are going to do, I'm going to select an aspect ratio. So to do that, you can head over to the right hand side of the screen right here and then click on this button up here. So right here, you can choose whatever aspect ratio that is suitable for the kind of project you want to create or for the kind of video you want to put together. So right here, I have different options I can choose from. And when you hover your mouse over any of the options, it gives an insight of what that ratio or what that aspect ratio is suitable for. So for instance, I have this portrait, for example, it says it is good for Instagram stories, IGTV and mobile videos. Next, I have square, which is good for Instagram posts and carousel ads and, and social for posts across your social media platform. So there are more down here. You can go ahead and choose the one that best suits what you want. So for this video, I'm going to go with the default, which is the 16 by 9 inch or whatever. So I'm going to click on that. So that's fine. Next, so now that I've selected my aspect ratio, next I want to import some medias that I want to use to put together my video project. So to do that, I'm going to head over to your media right here and then click on import media. And immediately you are going to get this open dialog. So right here, I can choose the location or I can select the location where I have the media I want to import in Clipchamp Video Editor. So right here, I have some in my desktop. So I'm going to select my desktop. I have it selected already. And then I'm going to click and select all the media I want to add or I want to import in shortcut video editor. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on open. And immediately all the files will be imported in Clipchamp video editor. 
up here i can choose how i want to view the medias or how i want to view the objects i imported in shortcut i can view just videos by clicking on the videos button and down here as you can see only the videos i imported are shown down here i can choose to view just audios or images so i'm going to go back to all so right here i can see all the medias in one place so the next thing i'm going to do is to add all the objects to the timeline so to do that i can hold my mouse over the object and then i get these two buttons with the first one i can delete the object or the media from the media library and with the second i can add the media to the timeline so i want so i want to add this to the timeline so i'm going to click on add to timeline and immediately you are going to see the object is added or the media is added to the timeline i can also click and drag the object to the timeline like this and that is it i could i can do the same thing with the photo so let's close this media so down here i have my timeline so right here is where i can arrange my medias in the order i want to see them in my video project so for instance i have these medias in my timeline already i can rearrange them by clicking and dragging them around in the timeline it's just to click and drag that's it so if you observe there are spaces between the medias in the timeline and i want to get rid of these spaces right there i want the objects to be very close to each other i don't need the spaces so to get rid of the spaces when i hold my mouse over on the empty spaces there i get this delete icon when i click on that you see the space is gone i also have one right here i can click again and that space is gone there are also some space right here another way to get rid of spaces is to right click and then you get these two options the first one is space and the second one is delete gap so you click on the delete gap option and the space is gone now within the timeline i can edit the media so for example I can cut, I can trim, and I can also delete media. So to trim a media, let's say this video, for example, the duration of the video is too long for the video project I'm putting together. I can trim out some parts of the video by clicking and dragging on the edge of the video. So when I hold my mouse over on the end of the video, I get this arrow pointing opposite directions. So with that, if I click and drag the video, you see it trims away parts of the video that i don't want making the video shorter so that's how to trim a video i can also split a video into two so first of all i'm going to move my play here to the point where i want to split the video select it and then click on the split button right here and that will split the video into two halves as you can see right here in the timeline i can also get rid of a media or delete a media by selecting the media and then click on the delete button up here next i have the duplicate button with the duplicate button i can duplicate a media so right here i have this media selected when i hit on the duplicate button you see it copies and pastes the media so i don't need this i'm going to get rid of it by hitting on the delete button and down there you see it's gone so up here i have the viewer so right here is where i can preview my projects as i progress I can hit on this preview button to start to preview the project and I can move five seconds back by clicking on this button right here and five seconds forward by clicking on this button right here. With the next button, I can move to the end and with the previous button, I can move to the beginning of my project. I can also do the same thing by using the home button on my keyboard and then the end button on my keyboard. So home to the beginning and end to the end. Still on the preview section or the viewer, I can select the media within the viewer. As you can see, immediately I click, I get these nodes around the media or around the viewer. So with these nodes, I can resize the media within the preview section. I also get these buttons i also have these buttons right here on the left hand side i have the fit button i have the crop button there's a picture on picture picture in picture button a rotation button to rotate and then i have the flip horizontal and flip vertical button now i don't want this media the way it is so i need it to fill the entire screen so i'm going to click on the fit button 
and you see it returns back to normal. I can also do the same with photos or images. So let's click, drag this right here, get rid of this space, and then delete this one right here. So I can increase the durations of, so I can increase the duration of a photo or a picture in the timeline by clicking and dragging on the edge. So right now, when I place my playhead on this image, you see that it doesn't fit in the screen. It's smaller than the previous section. So I'm going to have to expand this. So I'm going to click and drag this right here and this again. I can also reposition it by clicking and moving it in the previous section. Now that helps me to position it the way I want. Now that's okay. Now let's reduce the duration of this video. Next, I can add text to a video. Now to add text, I'm going to head over to this text panel right here. And right here, I get a huge library of different font styles I can use. So let's say I select one of them. Let's go with this groovy and then click on the add to timeline. So immediately I do that, you see that the text is added to the text timeline right at the point where I have the playhead. So let's close this for now. So I'm going to reposition it by dragging into the point where I want it. So let's say right here. I'm put our playhead right there. Now I can edit this text by clicking on the text in the timeline. And on the right hand side, I get these options. When I click on the text option, I can edit or enter whatever text I want within the text field. So let's say, please subscribe. So after typing in a text, down here, I can choose a font for the text. Again, I have a huge library of fonts I can use. So let's go with one of them. Let's say Chico, for example. And then next, you can select an alignment. You can select how you want to align the text. You can align the text to the left, to the middle, or to the right. So let's go with middle for now. Next, you can select a color, or you can give the text a color within the color field right here. So let's say, for example, I'm going to select this color right here, red, or let's say blue. It doesn't matter, just a tutorial. Next, I can transform the text. Within transform, I can resize the text. So as you can see right here, when I move this left and right, it resizes the text. Next, you can add a fade in and a fade out. You can even add filters to the text. So let's just select one of them. Let's say blur, for example, or radio, whichever one that's okay. Next, you can adjust the color of the text. So if you are familiar with these settings right here, you can go ahead and play with them to give you exactly what you want. So I'm going to close out of this by clicking. You can increase the duration of the text. That is how long you want the text to stay in the video by clicking and dragging on the edge. Now this will increase the duration of the text. Next, you can add stock videos and images from Clipchamp to your project. So right here, I have this stock video panel. So within the stock videos, you have a huge library you can choose from in different categories. So you can go to the library to see, to see what best suits your project. And many of them are free, while some of them are premium. So, so let's say for example, so let's go with one right here. Let's say this one, for example. Let's close that. So that's just a preview. So I can click on this add to timeline button. And there I have it on the timeline. So when I preview this. So that's it. Next, I can add stock images too. I also have access to a huge library of stock images I can add to the project. Again, they are sorted in categories. So you can go ahead and search them by categories to get what you want. I also have graphics down here. So Clipchamp has a library of graphics that you can choose from. I think many of them or most of them are free. So you can go ahead and select whichever one you want. In the beginning of this video, I mentioned that you can use Clipchamp to record and also convert text to speech. Now you'll be able to do this within the record and create panel. So right here, I see different options. I can record screen and camera. I can record just camera and I can record just screen. And down here, I can convert text to speech. You can also import music and SFX from Clipchamp. 
or add music and SFX from Clipcharm to your project. So right here you have a huge library also that you can browse to see what works best for your project. They are copyright free. So that is basically it for Clipchamp. Next, let's see how you can export videos when you are done. So when you are done with your project and you want to export it, you can simply click on this export button up here. And down here, you get these options. You can export your videos in these different qualities. You can export in 480p, 720 and 1080p. So you can go for whichever one that you want. So I'm going to click on this 1080p. And then up here, I see my video is being exported. I can view the export progress down here. Right here, I can create the video link if I want to share the video. And also, I can save and share the videos to these service providers right here. I can share it to Google Drive, upload in YouTube, send to TikTok, or save in OneDrive. When I scroll down a bit, I also get some options down here I can share the video to. Up here, I can edit the name of the video by clicking on this pen button right here. And then let's say I save this as tutorial. And that is it. So that is it guys. That's how to use Clipchamp video editor. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and also support this channel by subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.